Coburn Wetlands Centre is dedicated to raising awareness about wetlands and their management. We have environmental education and land care programs and a whole lot of volunteers to help implement that. The centre has a holistic approach to uh, revegetation works uh, within the reserves. So over time we've actually established seed production areas. We have a, a wet wetland seed production area for supplying sustainable seed for our revegetation projects and we have a dry land seed production area so they're called our wet spars and dry spars. Uh, the wet spar sounds more exciting. <laughs> So that seed is then collected by the volunteers. It's uh, processed so it's cleaned and stored and then each year we work out our revegetation projects and the volunteers germinate those in the nursery. We expect that to be popping out of its cell down in about 14 days time. From then on there, they just get bigger and bigger because we're very good at growing these babies. <laughs> We've been revegetating this site for the last couple of years. And you can see on the, the foreshore there, we actually have uh, like dense shrub plants. We've been trying to give a lot more protection to animals like the, the oblong turtle. So we're trying to connect this area with the upland. And there's also another connecting lake not far behind. So we, we're doing the dry land vegetation in conjunction with the, the wetland. I enjoy doing this and I like being in the bush and uh, I like to see that what we're doing is uh, going to help regenerate degraded areas around the place because we're losing so much of our bushland now we need to look after the bits we've got and, and make them better if we can. During the school holidays we have a family holiday program called Get Wild About Wetlands designed to teach people about wetlands and their management. One of the favourite activities is a, a dip netting exercise. Oh wow, look at those. That's the larval stage of the oh. dragonfly. Children and adults learn about the aquatic environment, so what lives beneath the water, um, the variety of animals that are there, the different habitats they live in. Yeah, just to see what is underneath is quite an exciting program and using the microscopes to have a closer look, yeah, because some of those animals look quite gruesome. <laughs>